In this video, we are going to discuss another method to calculate inverse jet transform that is partial fraction method or direct computation method to get the inverse jet transform. To explain this, I am going to consider an example. So, this is the example problem given. So, here they given a transfer function of the system h of z is equivalent to z square plus 2 z divided by z square minus 3 z plus 2. They are asking what is the impulse response of the system h of n. So, here how we will get impulse response from this transfer function definitely we need to consider the inverse z transform for this to get h of n. So, here to consider the inverse z transform if you see here the polynomials are having equal powers generally we will go for this method whenever polynomials are having equal or numerator is having greater, uh, greater polynomial. So, here Generally, in this method, what we will do is step 1 is we will take one z to this side. So, this is h of z is equivalent to given transfer function. So, we will make h of z by z format. So, this is step 1. After that, step 2 is so after that we are going to deal, we are going to solve this equation by using partial fractions partial fraction solving after that step 3 is send this z denominated z to send z to again right side right side and step 4 take inverse z transform. So, these are the 4 steps we need to maintain when you are calculating inverse z transform by using partial fraction method. So, here I want to take common of z from here and I want to send that z to this side. So, that will become h of z by z is equal to remaining is z plus 2 divided by z square minus 3 z plus 2. Now, I want to write, I want to solve in terms of partial fractions. I want to solve this equation in terms of partial fractions. Why? Because to apply inverse z transform in the final step, this equation is cumulative like cumulative. We want our shortcut equations form. So, but this equation is not in that form. For example, if our equation in, is in z by z minus a form or 1 by z minus a form, we can easily get the z transform of that particular form. But for this, we are not having direct z transform. That is why I am going to solve this by using partial fractions. This I can write like this z plus 2. So, denominator polynomial equation I can write like z minus 1 into z minus 2. You can see. So, z into z z square minus z minus 2 z minus 3 z minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2. So, here I written like this and I am writing in terms of partial fractions this z plus 2 by z minus 1. This one I am solving with partial fractions. Here itself I want to write partial fractions a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 2. So, that implies. So, here a into z minus 2 plus b into z minus 1 is equal into this z plus 2. So, observe here I want to solve this part. So, a into z minus 2 b into z minus 1 denominators are going to cancel is equivalent to numerator. So, now here I want to compare, I want to compare my parts. So, here I want to compare the z coefficients. Here the z coefficient is a, here the z coefficient is b, here my z coefficient is 1. So, a plus b is equivalent to 1. So, if I compare my z coefficients, then a plus b is equivalent to 1. So, now here I want to compare my constant terms. Here my constant term is minus 2a. Here my constant term is minus b is equivalent to constant term is 2. If I solve these two equations, then I am going to get a and b values. See here. So, for this equation, I want to make this equation as multiplication with 2. 
So then that is equivalent to 2a plus 2b is equivalent to 2. 2a plus 2b is equivalent to 2. So now I am adding these two, I am adding these two equations. Then if I added these two are going to cancel. So if I added these two, I am going to get b is equivalent to 4. If I substituted this b is equivalent to 4 here, I am going to get a value. a is equivalent to 1 minus 4, a is equivalent to minus 3. So, h of z by z after writing into partial fractions, I got a is equivalent to minus 3 by z minus 1 plus b value as 4 by z minus 2. Now, the third step is I solved with partial fractions. Third step is send this z to right side. Again, I am sending this z to right side. So, that means minus 3 into z by z minus 1 plus 4 into z by z minus 2. So, now apply inverse z transform. Final step is um, apply inverse z transform. If apply inverse z transform on both sides, you are going to get h of n is equal to minus 3 z by z minus 1 is u of n z transform. We know standard z transform table. I already given that fundamental z transform table and we already derived z transform from the initial classes itself. Under basic z transforms concepts, we already derived everything. So, z by z minus 1 is the z transform of u of n. So, by taking inverse z transform, you are going to get u of n plus 4 into this is in the form of z by z minus a a power n into u of n that means 2 power n into u of n. So, now you are getting like this. This is the inverse z transform of given transfer function h of z is equal to z square plus 2 z by z square minus 3 z plus 2. So, this I want to expand. For example, here this is a right sided sequence. So, both are right sided sequence added together you are going to get the right sided sequence only. So, I'm, I want to write in terms of set, I want to write in terms of samples. I am substituting n equal to 0 first. If I substitute n equal to 0, the value is minus 3 plus 4 into 2 power 0 into u of 0, u of 0, u of 1, u of 2, everything is 1. So, 4 into 2 power 0 that means minus 3 plus 4, minus 3 plus 4 means you are going to get 1. If I substitute n is equal to 1, so minus 3, minus 3 plus if I substitute n equal to 1, it is equal to 2, 2 into 4, 2 into 4 means it is equal to 8. So, 8 minus 3, it is equal to 5. Now, if I substitute n is equal to 3, so you are getting some other value. So, so on you are going to get values up to n is equal to infinity. I want to check this same by using division method. By using division method also you need to get the same values. So, for that I am going to check the division method. Here itself I want to check the division method. So, I am going to consider this z square plus 2z. So, z square minus 3z plus 2. So, z square z square one time z square minus 3z plus 2. So, I am changing the signs plus minus. So, 2z plus 3z 5z minus 2. So, z square with 5z how many times? So, z square with 5z means so plus 5z inverse 5z inverse. So, you will get some z square 5z inverse means 5z minus 3 5s 15 plus 2z inverse. So, sign change again. So, is going to cancel and here 15 minus 2. 
13 13 and here you are going to get so minus 2 z inverse so like this you are going to get so so on so on this process will continue if you decode the values you are going to get the same values you are going to get the same values so by division method or by partial fraction method you are going to get the same answer so according to the options you need to choose the method for calculation of inverse jet transform for example if they given in terms of samples division method is perfect so if they given in terms of like this then this partial fraction is perfect so if they given the options in terms of the functions and the transfer function given transfer function is an equal polynomials then this partial fraction method is apt for calculating inverse jet transform.